What up, peeps? King JL representing Grind for Yokes TV. Back with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about first date tips. Okay? Now, so you you finally got her out, right? You finally got her to invest in a little bit of her time. You know? She's finally dedicated some time for you. You know what I mean? You, you, feel, you feel special. You feel great. You know what I mean? You may have bought a whole new outfit for for the the occasion, you know what I mean? And if you watch some of my other videos, you know when you go out on dates, man, you want to make sure you look presentable, make sure you smell good, make sure you got some good clothes on, make sure your swag is on point. And best believe uh these females are going to do the same if if they're really interested in you. You know what I mean? If if they don't give a damn about you, they might they may not be looking their best. They might just throw something on. You know what I mean? But guaranteed, if, if they're interested in you, man, they're they going to be, you know, looking good. So there's two things I want to uh, tell you guys that you do not do on the first date. Okay? First one. Don't be a gentleman. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, if you watched... Uh, I got a, a earlier video called uh, Lose Your Gentleman Card, right? You don't want to be a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you want to be polite. You want to be respectful. You want to engage in conversation, but you don't want to be too much of a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'll tell you why later. Uh, second of all, you don't want to give her any compliments. You know? Don't give her any compliments. And, I, and I'll explain. Okay. So let's say uh, you finally got this girl out, right? It's, let's say the date is at uh, 8 p.m. or 6 p.m., whatever time, and you're on the way to go pick her up, right? Now, if you're dealing with a chick that's high value, right, and you're dealing with a chick that has high interest in you, best believe she's going to be looking good. And females nowadays, man, like when they look good, they want to let the whole world know that they look good. You know what I'm saying? That's why they have uh, social media. You know what I mean? They may post something on Snapchat. They may post something on uh, Instagram. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever they do. And if you're dealing with a, uh, you know, a high value chick, best believe she's going to get hundreds of likes. Guarantee somebody's going to hit up her her inbox. So she's going to be getting validated basically the whole day. You know what I'm saying? So her head is already in the clouds. What you want to do is you want to uh, even the playing field. You know what I'm saying? And this is going to bring me to my, my uh, second point. This is why you don't um, give her any compliments. Because her head is already in the clouds. Okay? But we're going to get to that in a second. Okay? Now, you're going to go pick her up, right? You pick her up and... A gentleman, you know what I'm saying, like maybe 30 years ago or what what have you, would say, oh my gosh, you look so beautiful. That would be the first thing out of his mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because you know she looks good. She knows you know that she looks good. Trust me. You wouldn't be out on a date if that wasn't the case. You know what I'm saying? She knows you want to fuck already. You know what I mean? Like, what's understood doesn't have to be said, basically. So... When she's getting validated basically the whole day, you know what I mean? You want to be the one that comes across different. You see what I'm saying? Because all of these guys that were hitting her up all day, giving her likes, shouting her out, you know what I mean? Leaving comments on her picture or DMing her. They're not going out on a date. Well, I don't know. Maybe she's going on an, another date after you. <laughs> you know what I mean? You never know what kind of chick you're dealing with. But anyway... This particular time is dedicated for you, right? So you should feel special. This is why you don't give her compliments. You know what I mean? As soon as she steps in the car, you know what I mean? You want to engage in conversation. Like, oh, what's up? You know, how you doing? You know, you ready to roll? Like, you ready to rock? Let's go. You know what I mean? You want to keep it like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't give her too much uh, validation. You know what I'm saying? Because when you do that, man, like, her head is just going to go up here. When you don't give her a compliment like that, like it evens the playing field. You see what I'm saying? Cause now you you fucking with a head. Now you know what I'm saying she's gonna be like, well, damn, I just spent an hour or two getting ready, and this motherfucker didn't even like give me any compliments. Like, am I doing something wrong? Like, 
does he even like me? You see where I'm going with this? Like, you already set yourself in a different space from all the rest of the motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, first date tips, right? Uh, this is for all my, my young dudes out here, man. Let's say one of my favorite places to go. So, anybody watching this video, if you're looking for first date tips, I would assume that you're young. You know, probably like maybe 17 to maybe like 23 or something like that, right? Now, I'm going to let you guys know that one of the best places you could take a female is the movies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you take her ass to like a, a matinee. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you why in a second, right? So, you, like, you take it to a matinee or you take it to the movies, you know, preferably, a, like, a late movie, you know what I'm saying, if you can, because you want to make sure that, you know, when the date is over, that, you know, you, you might get lucky. So, anyway, say you're at the movies, right? You know what I mean? Take it to the movies, you pick out a movie, uh, it'd be best, just let her pick the shit, man. Guaranteed, just let her pick the shit. Or if she says you pick, make sure you, you know what I mean, you pick something good. You know what I mean? But anyway, y'all like the movies, right? Make sure that you're not all over her. Like, don't go for no kisses. Don't try to rub up on the leg. Like, don't do none of that shit unless she engages in it first. Now, if she wants to rub up on your leg and this and that or put a head on your shoulder, like, that's fine. Chances are, if you're dealing with a chick that has high interest in you, she's going to do that anyway. You know why? Because you already fucked her with her head the minute the date started. <laughs> by not telling her that she looks beautiful, by not being all up on the ass. You know what I'm saying? You're already in her head. So now she's going to be like, well, damn, what can I do to get this motherfucker to notice me? You see what I'm saying? Like, you got to you gotta be able to, to play with a chick's mind like that. You know what I'm saying? And once she starts rubbing up on you or put her head on your shoulder like like that that's a good sign that that means like not only is she's trying to get your attention but she's also feeling more comfortable around you and this is what you want you know what i mean so the movies just like that man keep it like that you know don't go overboard you know what i mean and uh secondly i forgot to bring this up before like don't talk yourself out of the pussy man do not talk yourself out of the pussy you know what I mean? Like, let a female talk as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? Let her talk as much as possible, dog. You know what I mean? You don't want to talk yourself out the pussy. You want to be, like, as mysterious as possible. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to be that person that she has to kind of wonder about. You know what I mean? Like, what's his deal? Like, what's up with this motherfucker? Like, am, am I not good enough for him? Like, you want to... <laughs> like you want to make a chick feel like that you know what i mean because because once she has you and she knows she has you that's where things start going downhill from there <laughs> you know what i mean trust me so you at the first date right say y'all watch the movie right and me i had a lot of luck with uh uh movie dates like at night you know what i mean like i've gotten lucky like quite a few times like catching a, a late flick right and dropping the off home or like i remember <laughs> like in the parking lot even so when you get back in the car right or say like because a lot of young chicks man like you could go sit in the car and they'll just want to talk they may not want to go home like they may feel like special around you and they may want to talk and that's fine you know what i mean and that's a good sign because th they don't want the date to be over so let's say the movie's over y'all both in y'all car right or she's in your car and y'all chilling. Y'all just talking, vibing. Now, this is what I mean by being on your shit. Making sure your body looks good, right? Because one of the key things to getting in a, a, a chick's pants, and like I speak from experience, man, this shit has never failed me. Massages. <laughs> you know what I mean? You heard me right? Massages. Like, if you can give like a, a good massage to a chick, I'm telling you, man, you're in there. You know what I mean? Like your money is golden. You know what I mean? And say, uh, even like, say like you can lead up to it. Like, let's say, uh, y'all had a conversation before the date about massages and she just jokes around. Like, oh, I would love a massage. Like you kind of want to play hint like, oh yeah, I'm ready to give you the massage whenever you want to. 
You know what I mean? You want to play it smooth like that. So when you want a space to give for one, it can lead to something better. Trust me. So let me tell you how you do this, right? Let's say y'all in the car chilling, y'all talking, and she agrees to a massage, right? Well, you know, I, I give massages with baby oil too, but, you know, you may not want to do that in the car, fuck up your seats, but we'll get to that maybe in a, a later video. Baby oil and massages, them, I'm telling you, dog. But let's just say uh, y'all both in the car, right, chilling, and you get to the massage, right? Now, this is what I mean, like, being on your shit. Make sure that you yoked up. You know what I mean? Like, if a chick knows, like, you're yoked up or you have a, a nice body and she's interested in you, best believe, like, she's fantasized about you touching her. You know what I mean? And when you give her that massage, man, I'm telling you, it's going to stimulate all kinds of shit. So, this is what you do, right? You start off, like, your shoulder. Start off with her shoulders. You know what I'm saying? And for all my, my uh, dingbats out there, all my nitwits, my fucking knuckleheads, don't apply too much pressure, man. Because when you apply too much pressure, you a big yoked motherfucker. Like, females are real sensitive, man. Then Like, their body weight is not as strong as us. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, you may put some pressure on their shoulders and you may actually hurt them. So, make sure you start off, like, real slow, real easy. But make sure you hit, if you don't know if y'all can see, like, this spot right up in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, both hands. Boom. So you're doing it slowly, like you talking, you know what I mean? You want to be talking in like a smooth voice, you know what I'm saying? Like me, I always ask like, oh, how's that feel? You know what I mean? Is it too hard? And she'd be like, no, you know what I mean? It feels good. You keep on going. So you're doing this and you want to work your way down her back, right? And when you work your way down her back, I'm telling you, man, you're going to stimulate all kinds of shit. Even better if like the shit is magical and y'all vibing. You may even be able to whisper in her ear or kiss on the neck. Like, this is what you want. So, you go down, all the way down, right? Slowly, right? But you want to get, like, to her lower back. And this is where the magic happens. So, when you're at the lower back, right? I want you guys to uh, use both hands, right? See this right here? This should be right in her lower back, right? And your thumb should be on her hips like kind of like squeezing her hips if you will 